Welcome back to Maya 2018 Basics. Today we're gonna to show you very quickly how to bring an image onto a reference so that you can use it for modeling, okay? So there's a couple different ways to do that, one of which is using an, a polygon plane. And I'm using a 900 by 900 pixel picture. So I just wanna make sure that it's a, um, that it's a square. So I do that. If you want to add subdivisions, this would be the benefit of using a poly plane. Now, essentially what you're doing is you're slapping a UV on this on this guy. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do here is show you the process. So you create the plane first, and this is what you're going to do exactly the same for NURBS if you use a NURBS plane. Right click and go down to assign new material, Lambert. Do not use the default Lambert when you make a plane. Notice, for example, if I make a box or whatever, you're going to see always a Lambert default. Do not put anything in this node. Bad things happen. <laughs> Essentially, what happens is everything subsequently, it gets wrapped with whatever it is that you bring into that color, no matter what you do. Okay. All right. So first things first, let's, we added a Lambert 2 here. I'm going to just rename this BS. I'm going to the color node. I'm going to file here. I'm going to go back to this file here. I'm going to choose my picture, Bogey Studios. And what we see is nothing. So a lot of people say, I import it, but I don't find a picture. Well, did you select hardware texturing? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Okay. Or you can hit six for hardware texturing. Now, this guy didn't come in properly. Uh, UVs are off a little bit, right? So what do we do? What do we do? Well, quite easily, we can get into this polyplane, create UVs, normalize, and we can turn the normalization off. And there we go. We've got our, we've got our picture that came in. Now, notice there's nothing on the bottom. That's fine. Lighting, two-sided lighting. Now we've got both sides projected. Okay. Um, this is why I have a bit of an issue with, see, because then you go back and, and you're good to go with poly planes is that sometimes they don't come in very nicely. Okay. But if you need to use a poly plane for whatever purpose, for whatever reason, because you want to add subdivisions or, or whatever, you can very easily, um, uh, adjust this image using your either the UV editor or just these little defaults. Turning normalization off usually does the trick. All right, next one is the NURBS. So let's do a NURBS plane. NURBS plane. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with doing a width of nine and then a ratio of one. Keep in mind it's a length ratio. So we're just making another square. And then we're going to go ahead and assign a new material. Once again, Lambert. And uh, I'll name that again, BS2. And we're going to go to the color node in the new material. Remember, it's a new material. It's not the default. And we're going to go ahead and select Bogey Studios. Now, look at that. Really nice, really quick. And as a default, it comes right up. So we don't have to adjust anything. That's what's nice about NURBS curves, is that you can really project it nice, quick, easy. You don't have to mess with anything. So that's another way to do it. And again, keep in mind that when you're using a reference, you're going to have a bottom. You're going to probably have something that is, uh, let's see, you know, you can, uh, let's see, rot limit, rot limit, is it X? You can do 90 here, right? Or, you know. 90 degrees here, okay? Probably don't want it sideways like that, but you get the point. So you'll want something that's front, top, and side, or front, top, and side. So a plane, at least three planes to give you the perspective so that you can, of course, model in three dimensions. All right, so let's. Uh, that's your NURBS. Now, another way to go about it, is to go to your viewports and let's say I want to set something up in the front and attach it to a camera. One of these cam, well, the front camera. So all I have to do here is go into view, image plane, import image, and that's it. It's as quick as that. 
So that's a real fast way to do it. I've seen other uh, YouTubers and some professionals do it really quickly like this. So you can set it up real quick. Boom, image plane, import image if you have a side view. I mean a top view. And then do one if you have a do one with, with the side view over here. So it's a nice way, attaches it obviously here to a camera, camera view, front view. All right. All right. There's that. And then finally, if you want a free image plane, you can do that as well. So if we want to go back here, go F, we can go into create, free image plane. We can even actually go into this the um, uh, settings here. I have it, it's not, it's not the default, but I just had it set nine by nine, doesn't matter, okay? There's our image plane, right? You can see it show up in the outliner image plane. We go into our attribute editor. Where are you? Where are you image plane? Where is my color? Where is my color node? Color gain, color gain, color gain. There we go. Image name, there it is right there. So we can take that, go to Bogey Studios, and boom, we've got a free plane that is not attached to a camera. It's just a free plane. Okay. I was just going to adjust the, take the anti-aliasing -aliasi off. Anti-aliasing. Multi-sample anti-aliasing. Um, and that'll do it. So, backtrack. We got a polygon plane. Add a material, Lambert material, go into the color node, boom, add a file. That's it. Bring in the file. You can do the same thing with a NURBS plane or you can go into these guys, attach it to a camera, image plane, import image to any of these three. Or you can go into create and free image plane. There you go. Those are a couple different ways, a couple different uh techniques to bring in images so that you can use them as references to start your modeling experience. Another thing that you might want to do too as well if you're creating these references is select it, go into your channel box, go into layers, create layer from selected and go ahead and click R for reference so that you can't accidentally click on these things. All right, folks, that'll do it. We'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day.